Okay, one of the things about the coast is that because of all the sand, things are drier physically, physiologically than um, you'd think. So, especially if it stops raining. Um, but so let's say well-drained soil. So, pines do fairly well here. Um, but it is a weird combination of high rainfall and well-drained soils. So, theoretically, good golf course uh, material. But um, this particular one, and I'll do this here. So, it's shedding its pollen. This one is Pinus contorta, variety contorta. So, Pinus contorta um, is the lodgepole pine, and you'll see them all over the West in uh, um, groves, and they're generally not terribly uh, robust or uh, thick as far as that goes. They tend to be subject to a lot of fire, um, almost weedy in, in some ways, but um, a common pine in the West, uh, Western United States. This particular variety, variety contorta, is the coastal variety, um, so it, it tends to develop into kind of bonsai-like shapes, and that's what we're kind of looking here. Yeah, so it's, see, it's not really straight up and down. It does a lot of twists, and part of that is the climate, but um, on the wind blowing on it. But uh, it's just kind of the nature of the plant. Not terribly big cones. But um, this is this is what you see covering old dunes. Um, I say throughout the Pacific Northwest. Um, I don't see as much of it in California. I think Oregon has maybe a little better climate as far as it goes. Um, but anyway, so there you go. And often quite rich on the lichens.